C Sharp, a statically typed general purpose programming language famous for being the workhorse of the Windows.NET framework. It was created in the year 2000 by Anders Heilsberg at Microsoft. It was designed as a modern C-like object-oriented language and was originally going to be called Cool. Initially, it was criticized as imitation Java, but it's evolved into one of the most popular and well-loved languages to this day. It can be used to build almost anything, like desktop apps on .NET Core, cross-platform mobile apps with Xamarin, web applications with Blazor, and and video games with the Unity framework. It became open source software in 2014 and can be used to build apps outside of the .NET framework. C Sharp code is compiled into an intermediate language, which can then be interpreted by the common language runtime, where it can be executed as native machine code on any operating system without the need to recompile. It's known primarily as an object oriented language, but also supports functional lambda expressions and has the ability to write a declarative query on any data structure with a feature called link. It's a memory safe language thanks to garbage collection although it is possible to create an unsafe context if you want to allocate your own memory with pointers. To get started, install the .NET Core SDK, then open the terminal to an empty directory and run .NET New to create a new application. That creates a program.cs file that imports the system namespace at the top, then provides a class with a main function, which is where your code will start executing. Declare a variable by starting with a type, followed by a name and value. By default, a value cannot be null, but you can make it nullable by adding a question mark to the type. Now to organize our code and share it in other files, we will wrap it in a namespace. We can then create a new class inside the namespace that has a constructor when the class is instantiated and a destructor when the class goes out of scope. Classes support inheritance, polymorphism, and everything else you would expect in a modern object-oriented language. We can define a property on the class and make it readable with get or writable with set. The language doesn't have top-level functions, but rather methods that are defined as a member of a class. However, it does support lambda expressions or a anonymous functions, and other functional programming patterns. When it comes to asynchronous programming, it supports a task-based asynchronous pattern, allowing you to write non-blocking code using the async await syntax. Now to compile and execute your code, use the .NET run command. This has been C Sharp in 100 seconds. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more short videos like this, and let me know in the comments if you want to see a full .NET or Unity tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.